Oh, hi, YouTube, Thunderblade in the area. Today we're gonna talk about this little baby right here. I managed to put all the motors, electronics together and everything, and I did some testing. I went on the road, I got some thoughts about this particular prototype. So let me tell you what I think about this one. So just a reminder to everyone, this prototype was only made possible because of the awesome supporters Thunderblade has, okay? We have a coffee page and people donated money to make this possible. So because of them, I will explain everything and make a tutorial about this, okay? so. First things first, the, this thing works. It goes up to around 40 kilometers an hour. Although uh, I could not go to max speed, but this design has some flaws and I'm gonna talk about them right now. So let's start with the good things about this, right? So I try using a dupe boot. This is an old dupe boot, but it works. And it's really nice to be able to use your own sneakers. And when you get there, when you get your destination, you just slip right off and you don't have to like find some place to sit and change your shoes or carry your shoes with you, right? You just get there, take off your skates and can walk. The other good thing about this is it's really comfortable. The, these tires, they are really soft. They're really soft compared to uh, a traditional inline skate wheel, they are softer. Of course, they're not as soft as an inflatable tire, which would absorb a lot more of the vibration, but it works. It's kind of nice. I really love the red, the red accent here on the motors. They, they really stand out and I like this. The battery is really good. Uh, I have nothing to complain about it. I used uh, hoverboard batteries because it's easily available. It's easy to buy and you can find them on AliExpress or Amazon. Hell, you could even get uh, your neighbor's hoverboard that their son doesn't use anymore and take, take the battery off of that. So it works. About the range, I didn't do a proper range test, but I'm assuming with both, both feet batteries, we are talking about 20 to 30 kilometers of range, which is quite nice. Really, really. It's, it's more than the first generation of electric skateboard. So I also like that this version has, uh, I made it with a single, single wall. So this, this side, this is the battery and the electronics in this box right here, which is actually 3D printed. The prototype was fast. It was very practical, very versatile. Another thing that is really good is, although it has only two wheels, the wheelbase I chose to use here, it's 270 millimeters. Almost the same as normal inline skate with four wheels. Not a really long wheelbase, so it's kind of maneuverable. You can make turns quite well. It doesn't feel like, oh my God, this thing is not gonna turn. Of course, it's not gonna turn as well as a four wheel setup or a three wheel setup, but it turns quite well. So the prototype was fast, practical, and really, really fun to use. So what are the cons? So of course, not everything works perfectly this time. So let's talk about firstly, the one-sided wall thing, okay? The one-sided frame, uh, it's really beautiful to look at. I think it's the aesthetic, I like it a lot, but it's kind of hard to build it to, because you need a really strong and hard material to make it. And I, I don't have access easily to proper steels to use this or the proper aluminum to build it. The, the next prototype, I would definitely use a more traditional frame with double, double sides. So here on the back, you can see that I made a really, really big reinforcement because right off the bat, this, this, this wall right here, it just bent, right? Bent, right? The axle is Perfect, no problem with the axle. The axle is welded right here. So no problem with the, the, with, with the axle, but the wall couldn't withstand my weight. So it bent right off the bat. So I made this really, really big reinforcement. It worked. It really solved the problem. I could have put the, the same on the, on the front, but I, I, I thought I wouldn't need it, 
but I needed, spoiler alert, I needed a reinforcement on the front because although we don't have a lot of weight on the front wheel, I have a bad habit of first thing my front wheels onto the, onto the curbs, right? When I want to stop, I just slam my front wheels onto any curb or wall or anything else. And I did this with this prototype and it bent the, the frame. So I am not going to use this kind of shape anymore. Okay. So a lot of you guys ask me about this kind of one-sided frame and it doesn't work or at least you need a lot of a lot of testing and engineering to make it work so i'm going to skip that the other downside of this prototype is it's quite heavy right this one it's around five kilograms each foot so it's really really heavy for a uh, inline skate just for uh, just for comparison a normal inline skate weighs around two kilograms. The really, really light, uh, speedy uh, race ones weighs around 1.2 to 1.3 kilograms. And this one is five kilograms. So it, it feels heavy. It, it's really hard to take your feet off the ground. But when you're on the ground, it just works. You don't feel that much of a weight. So I think if we could lose around a kilogram or so, it, it would feel very good. So how do we lose that one kilogram? One of the things I could do is lose a motor. Of course, it's going to be, of course, it's going to be a little weaker. Of course, from, from two motors to two motors, from four motors to two motors, it's half, it's half the power. So of course, it's going to be weaker. But this thing is insanely powerful. I mean, myself, me, I don't need that much power, but Oh, well, you know, there's an option to use four motors. So if you lose one motor, you could lose around 800 grams. So it's, just, it's already a lot. These motors are heavy. That's one of the downsides of using hub motors against the friction drive system that I used before. So the other place we could lose some weight is on the frame because a one sided frame, it's actually heavier than a double sided because of geometry and engineering stuff which is kind of too much to talk about in one video. I could make a more detailed video about why this happens. But anyway, making a double sided, more of the traditional, it's going to be a little bit better and a little bit lighter. I could use a smaller battery as well, but this battery is so easy and cheap that I'm not going to try to get some weight out of it. So making a new frame and losing a motor could make us a kilogram lighter on, on the prototype. So if any of you guys cares about weight, don't even, seriously, don't try to use four motors. It's really heavy. Go for, with one more each foot. And I don't know if any of, one, any one of you guys are thinking about this. You could make this work with only one motor, okay? Of course, it's going to be kind of weak, but it works, okay? It works. It actually pushes you. You're going to make around 25 kilometers, 20 kilometers an hour. So if you just want something very practical to go around the city, lightweight, one powered foot is going to be enough for you. So if any of, any of you guys actually want this test to be done, I can make and make a video about using only one more. So, if you are one of the guys that actually want this test to be done, leave a comment and ask me to make this video. If enough people actually cares for this test, I'm going to make a one motor test. Okay, so I talked about the motors and I talked about the battery. So let's talk about the electronics, okay? I've bought these uh, electronic speed controllers off of AliExpress and they work right out of the box. Okay, you don't need to program them, you don't need a computer, you just take them, strap on the motors and battery and just off you go. It's really easy. You know, back in 2015 when I started, this didn't exist. So it's so much easier now for DIY these things. So I'm really encouraging you guys to try this. Okay, I'm going to put the list of all the parts I used down in the description and 
I will make a uh, new video disassembling the prototype, okay? To show you guys how everything works together. So, this one, it has really good remote. It has a display on it and has four modes. One mode goes to up to seven kilometers an hour. The second mode goes up to 16 kilometers an hour. The third mode goes up to 31 kilometers an hour. And the fourth mode is without limits. So it's full power. The, the electronic speed controllers, they can, you can use them with one motor or two motors. So you can put one ESC on the right foot and one ESC on the left foot, and they both connect to a single controller. So it's really, 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 really easy. I, I'm not joking, guys. You just connect them, turn on the remote, and it's done. Okay, I didn't need to pair. I didn't need to program anything. I just put them down, turn it on. Okay. And talking about turning it on, it also comes with a power button. I've strapped the power button right here, but you could put them anywhere. So I'm going to turn it on to show you guys. You just press it once and it turns green, make this beeping noise. And then you turn on the power, the remote. It vibrates to tell it's ready. And you can see right here, it says battery one and battery two because it's meant to be used with two ESCs. It's showing battery two full power and battery one zero because it's not connected. But I'm going to, you see, just right out of the bat. I'm going to change mode to um, pro. So it's on pro mode and it breaks. When it breaks, it regens the power to the battery. It's already inside of this. So, really, really, really easy. Okay, and the last thing about the prototype is, this one, you can put any, any boot on it. It could be UFS or SSM, whatever. It just works with any boot, but the dupe boot I have it's not hard enough. So I was having a little bit of problems with stability going higher speeds. I'm hoping that the new frame will fix a little bit of the, the stability issues, but I will also change the boot to something more hard boot feelings like this. Okay, this boot is really better than a dupe boot. It's really stronger here. So this boot is actually a slalom boot. It's really, really supportive. It grabs and wraps your feet a lot more, a lot better than a dupe boot, which has your sneaker inside of it. So if you guys care about stability and responsiveness mainly, okay? Don't go for a dupe boot, go for a more traditional hard boot, slalom boot. I recommend the Power Slide Hardcore Evo or something from Seba. Like I really love the Trix 2 boot. Anyway, any carbon boot will be really responsive, responsive, but you're going to lose a little bit of comfort. But if that's, if that's your thing like me, I really like my responsiveness and I'm going to put this and make another test with this boot instead of the, the dupe. So, Whichever boot do you choose to use, okay, it has your ups and downs. So you just choose whatever is your flavor, right? And that's about it from the review. If you have any questions about this that I didn't cover, uh, just leave a comment below. And if you really enjoy the specifics and the engineering side of things, I'm going to make a new video right here to I'm going to disassemble the prototype and show in detail every single part of it and how I built everything. So check this next video. And guys, thank you very much for everyone, everyone that supports supported Thunderblade so far. We have a coffee page. I'm, I'm still going to keep developing the prototype. I'm going to keep making videos about this. So if you want the videos to, make, to get a little bit of a power up, Consider donating a little bit on our coffee pages to make it easier to buy hard drives and cameras. I really wanted a drone 
to make some really nice aerial takes. But, uh, so check our coffee page if you want to support. And if you want to have access to our Discord server, so you can have direct access to me, consider have, uh, getting a partner level membership. It's just $5 and it help us a lot. And I can keep making these videos and I can keep building and developing Thunderblade for you guys. Okay, so check the next video and let's storm the streets.